Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, new brewery on the channel. Alert. My favorite time. I always say that. Uh, Hen House Brewing Company. They are in Santa, Santa Rosa, right? I think that's right. Uh, yeah, Santa Rosa, California. It's funny. When you think of Santa Rosa, you think of Russian River. Um, but yeah, apparently these guys have been around. I looked it up when I got this beer uh, since 2011. I've never heard of them, and I don't know why that is. Um, and I'm wondering how many of you guys have heard of Hen House. Uh, this is the Philadelphia Experiment. And this can art is amazing. They're called Hen House. There's the hen. It's got great artwork. Albert Einstein's on there. There's the UFOs. I don't know if you guys know the story with the Philadelphia Experiment. Google it. It's good stuff. Uh, this is a, I think it's a 6%, is that right? Da -dun -dun, da -dun -dun -dun. 6% alcohol by volume says check the date. This was canned on uh, September 6th, 6th, so we are just under three weeks old. Uh, beer comes courtesy of my man Pete. I appreciate you, sir. He sent me an email and said, hey, I don't know if you ever heard of Hen House, but I want to send you some beer. Uh, so this is what he sent. This is a hazy, I think, um, IPA. 6%, that's my wheelhouse. I love me some 6% beers. Um, per the can, this is uh, brewed with Simcoe, Enigma, and Vic Secret. So inter interested to see what these guys are doing. I don't have any uh, Hen House glassware, obviously, so we're going to use one of my favorite answer glassware with Yoshi on it. Let's see what she's got. Yeah, 6%. I mean, this is these are the beers that I love these days. Um, I'm a low ABV guy. You guys know that? Love it. That can art is so great. Uh, so, yeah, looks like a, uh, <laughs> a hazy IPA. Solid two fingers. Uh, this head is crazy. It's so fluffy. You could take a spoon and scoop that out. Um, and it's just like the lacing is just sticking to the glass. Looks awesome. Looks like a New England style beer. I mean, everyone's brewing them these days, so. Uh, 6%, let's go ahead and shove our nose in it, see what she smells like. Ooh, this has a cool uh, combination of like tropical fruitiness and there's an, a, like a nice amount of like green earthy dankness in there. Um, I don't, what was it, Enigma Hops, the Vic Secret? I don't, I haven't drank a whole lot of beers with Vic Secret, I don't think. Um, yeah, Enigma, I don't know. I don't know if I've had a whole lot of beers with Enigma. I'm a big Simcoe guy. Simcoe usually gives off like that catty, um, West Coast vibey aroma for me. Um, that's definitely here, but this is plenty like tropical fruity juicy too. Yeah, it's got like this, what is that? It's, it sounds weird to say like spicy, but it's got this cool like herbal. I think it's herbal what I'm smelling. Yeah, almost like, um, like you know how it like intensely, uh, spicy is not the right word, I don't think, but like if you grab like a, uh, if you're at the store and you buy vine tomatoes, like a tomato vine, it smells like that. It's almost like a, uh, like a peppery kind of herbaceous thing. It's, <laughs> it's awesome. I like it. Yeah, it's got like this, uh, like there's a stone fruity thing to it. Maybe like the nose of this is throwing me off. It smells awesome, but I can't figure out exactly what I'm smelling. Yeah, it's, I think it's stone fruity, but that like overly green, like spicy herbal thing is, I mean, it's awesome. It's almost like taking over the aroma. It's weird. It's weird to say like it gives off like when you open like a mint, like a like a can of Altoids or something, and it's got like that kind of spearminty, minty thing. Like it's not minty, but it's got like I'm trying to <laughs> explain what I'm smelling so you guys watching can be like, oh yeah, I know what he's talking about. Um, it almost gives off that. It smells awesome. There, there is. There's tropical fruits with that stone fruity, like peachy kind of apricotty thing for me. Um, I think stone fruit is what I'm immediately going to, but there it could also have like this, that peppery could think could even be like a mango thing. So I'm excited to drink this. Pete, cheers. Thank you, sir. Ooh, that's, that's really good. 
That is nice because you get like that awesome, just immediately you get that awesome West Coast, like hot matter bitterness, like intense pithy citrus kind of a thing, middle of your tongue to the finish of it. Um, it does, it sticks with that kind of herbally green, maybe piney is what it is, like smelling pine needles. It might be that. Um, you get that on from the back of your tongue all the way to the finish of it. Um, but you're getting that awesome, like, it is. It's like a stone fruity kind of mix of generic sort of tropical fruits. And I'm not saying generic in a bad way. It's just there's nothing jumping out like I, that I can Im immediately pick out as far as what I'm smelling. This is really good, though, especially for 6%. It's plenty flavorful. Um, the mouth feels nice. It's not, you're not chewing on it, but it's a 6% beer, so you're not expecting to do that. Um, it's just like, it's got a good amount of carbonation. It's just kind of velvety from front to back. I do, this really sticks. I mean, they're Northern California. It's a West Coast beer. This for me, it's one of those hazy beers that has like that West Coast vibe to it. Um, I like that earthy, piney, um, like that green hop matter that you get that kind of balances out that tropical like fruit, stone fruit thing. This is not one of those beers that you're like, oh, this is a total juice bomb. It's not that. I think they kind of stick to the whole West Coast roots thing um, when it comes to this beer. I don't know, like I said, I don't know anything about these guys. I don't know what other kind of beers that they brew. I don't know if this is like a one-off kind of a hazy thing that they're doing um, and they are brewing like West Coast style beers. I don't know. This is an awesome first impression from these guys though. It's really, really good. I am, I'm just, I'm a fan of 6% beers. I like lower alcohol beers. Um, I just think that it's one of those things. This is a beer that you could open every day when you're having dinner. Um, you have one, you're good, it's delicious. You're not gonna get hammered drinking it. Um, it's awesome. This is a really good <laughs> first impression from these guys. I do, I just like how, even as I'm talking, that pithy citrus peel, that earthy kind of piney, it is, there's a good amount of just that, what people call greenness to it. It is, it's, uh, this is for me is like a West Coast at heart beer, even though it's hazy and even though it, ha it hits on those tropical fruit, like fruity notes of a beer, it's still kind of like that West Coast vibe. So um, as far as a 6% beer goes, this is awesome. Um, this is for me, I would put this in like the world-class thing, like that 96, 97 range. This is really, really good. So I'm stoked I got to have a beer from these guys. Pete, I appreciate you. Thank you for sending this. I'm, I'm kind of uh, excited to talk to you guys who have had, and how, I don't know like how far their reach, are, their reach is. I don't know like their distribution. I'm not sure. I, I've not heard of these guys until I got this beer. So yeah, that's the Philadelphia exper experiment from Hen House Brewing. This can is amazing. So uh, if you guys have had anything from them, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Like I said, I'm looking forward to talking to you guys about this beer. So, or this brewery, whatever you guys want to talk about. Tell me. I want all the information. So, yeah, I'm out of here, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.